Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to come your way again with another video. So, I welcome you so heartedly with all my heart. Another time to share together on this channel. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for all your efforts. Thank you for the sacrifice to be here. I appreciate it greatly. Guys, if you are here for the first time, this is channel to be the purchase corner. A channel is for to give you the best and the latest. So I welcome you wholeheartedly. God bless. All right. Having said that, I want to appeal to you to, to subscribe to this channel. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post new videos. Thank you very much. You can also help by sharing this video as much as you can. If it is possible for you to do, I will appreciate it greatly. And to all my loving, amiable subscribers, the new and the returning one, thank you for your unflinching support and the love you have been showing. Please keep supporting us. Um, watch the video to the end. Give me a thumbs up and share this video also. Thank you very much. Having said that, I want to say to you, it's time for another banger in the world of sports. Nigerian referees omitted for the 2023 African Cup of Nations coming up in Côte d'Ivoire, January next year. Now, the new Minister of Sport and Development in Nigeria, Mr. John Eno, noted that without prejudice, the development calls for a reflection of the institutional setting within which we administer sport. The absence of Nigerian reveries on the official on the match official list for the 2023 African Cup of Nations scheduled for 20 scheduled for Côte d'Ivoire in January 2024 upset you know the sport minister uh John Owen Eno. Mr. John Owen Eno stated on Thursday in Abuja while reacting to the list of match official released by the Confederation of African Football ahead of the tournament sh schedule for January next year. He said that given Nigerian fo football pedigree and population, the country should not be in such a predicament, which has become a trend. The minister, however, promised to hold engagement with relevant stakeholders, such as Nigerian Football Federation, Nigerian Referee Association, among others, to reverse the trend. It's a worrisome trend, to say the least. He said, and I quote, at the last African Cup of Nations, 2021, Nigeria only had one assistant referee listed amongst the match officials. Two years prior, three years before then, we didn't have any centre referees to. Going into the next two African Cup of Nations, 2023, we still won't have any Nigerian officials. I'm going to interrogate this matter. We have engagement with the NFF, NF, NFF, the Referee Association, and the League Board because we need to get to the bottom of this. He said, Mr. Howard Eno noted that without prejudice to the outcome, the development calls for a reflection of the institutional setting within which sport is administered in the country, Nigeria. He reiterated his commitment to ensuring that sports across all faces thrive in the country. For Nigerians to stand tall in the Committee of Nations. Reports reaching us that CAF on Tuesday unveiled 85 referees comprising center referees, assistant referees, VAR, and the technical instructor for the 2023 African Cup of Nations, and no Nigerian official in school there. That's very shameful. It's a big disappointment, a big shame for a big nation like Nigeria. The report says that Egypt and Nigeria, both in North Africa, have three names listed in the center referees. Can you imagine that? Since from North Africa 
as 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 center referees, followed by Morocco, Mauritania, Mauritius, each with two. Other nations on the list include Gabon, Ghana, Benin, Congo, Somalia, and others. The assistant referees list include two representatives from each of Morocco, Kenya, Cordova, Algeria, Egypt, South Africa, as well as lesser known nations like Comoros, Djibouti, Burkina Faso, and Sao Tome Principal. There are four VAR referees chosen from Mauritius. South Africa, Morocco, and Egypt. They chose the following nations for the next te technical instructors and physical trainers Zimbabwe, Burundi, Konov, Cordova, Senegal, Morocco, and Djibouti. Yet, Nigeria, Nigerians, no Nigeria is there. <laughs> it called for a sober reflection. The 2023 African Cup of Nations Finals, which are scheduled to take place from 13th January to 11th February 2024, will feature 24 nations fine for the championship, including Nigeria Super Eagles. Can you believe that? Yet no single Nigerian officials listed among the list. You can see the level at which Nigeria has gone down. So embarrassing. I mean, so embarrassing. This is uncomfortable. Something has to be done. Okay? Something urgently needs to be done. We cannot continue on this trend. It's, like it's very, very embarrassing and very shameful. Guys, what do you have to say to this? Let me have your opinion and your take on this. I'll be glad if you can do that. If you have watched this video to this end, thank you so much for your love and your support. I sincerely appreciate it. And I do not take it for granted whatsoever. And to all my amazing subscribers, please continue, you know, to support us. Okay? Continue to support and watch our video. Continue to share us. Guys, you remember and you know quite well that I say it often each time I come to share with you. That if you can dream it, you can achieve it. A dreamer is an achiever. Continue to dream, continue to achieve. Alright? Don't settle for the less. Believe in your ability. Position yourself for development. Position yourself to improve yourself. Okay? And believe in your own ability to deliver and to be the best in whatever you do. Alright? Till I come your way next time, guys, with another video. I want to show to you. Bye. Bye.